Okay, so next we're going to look at um, mirroring that geometry. And uh, it's dog feeding time, so that isn't my wife feeding, that's our two schnauzers. Um, so here we have just a visualization of what we're talking about. Very easy to mirror the geometry once we've created. Um, I created a, a reference plane here. It's not showing up as a red dot, but it's very similar to this point. And um, cut an XY diagonal through it and then mirrored it over it. And the code looks like this up here. So it's a um, we have to it, actually just th the first thing we do and I, I'm, I'm not going to actually I guess I won't go through and re reconstruct this. Um, you can go ahead and just look at the at the drawing here. Um, you want to grab uh, geometry mirror and I'll just type it in again just to give you a chance to oops a mirror just to make sure that shows up and um, I know there are a couple of other ones but the one we want is the one that allows us to put in a geometry in a plane and the idea is that we're actually sticking in all the geometry, just the same geometry that we used um, to create our original, and that's a list create. I haven't added that to the uh, direct shape by geometry yet, but we'll feed that back in again just as we finish this off. So the idea, though, is that um, this needs a mirror plane. And the way we do that is we have to create a vector. And the vector is... Um, uh, a vector that goes in both the x, y direction the same amount. We're really moving out through space in a, um, a diagonal and we're not moving vertically so we're only moving um, left and right. So we're just creating a, a diagonal um, 45 degree angle and we need to establish a starting point. So if I actually turn this on you'll see that that starting point should be here somewhere. Here's the highlight. It should be down in here. I'm not sure why that's not actually showing up. And that's related to the, well, it might be this point up here. Let me see what, because we're feeding that in for our points by coordinate, which is really the wall length. If we go way over to this side, you'll see that it's the face width. So we're up at night, you know, this is out here 97 feet from the zero point. So that end of the, that line should be, or that point should be showing up right there. Let's see what that point actually says. I'll do a watch box. Or maybe we'll just look at this point. So it's, it is, if I zoom in here, it's in the x direction 97 and it's zero in the y and it's hidden underneath that little oops, if I pin it. Give me a second here. So it's at x 97, y zero, and z zero. So it should be sitting out here somewhere. Anyway, you'll put those in and you should get the, the same um, output that I did. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll do one more step with this. So this gives us our reflection on that. And it's not showing up in here because there is absolutely, well, there should be geometry. So why isn't this showing up? Let me go ahead and run this and see if it does. There it is. So there's our geometry showing up. It's only showing up in Dynamo right now because we haven't given it a direct shape by geometry. So I'm going to take and make another list create. I'm going to duplicate this one. Oops. So I'm going to feed it this geometry now and the other geometry. So now we got all the parts and pieces into one list create. And we'll use that to feed in here for the geometry. And we'll go ahead and uh, run that and see if that happens relatively quickly.
Well, when the screen refreshes, that's usually a good sign. All right, so let's close this off. And there we have our mirror geometry in Revit. Um, we have this kind of an idea of an intersection of these two pieces of glazing, and we've got a strut that's coming in both directions. And that somewhat disappears when we go to a higher resolution of that setting. Uh, but I'm I'm not really all that concerned. I, this is just really enough of the, you know, the the idea of creating a wave facade with some elements that pull back. And we'll we'll um we might stretch this out into two classes so we get a little more time to develop this idea. But the next thing now is then to go in and um, add the glazing to this. We'll do that in the next clip, and then we'll start to look at creating the. Um, the elements on the site to come up with a kind of a final presentation.